channel. This is Faith's Girlfriend Series and my name is Faith. So glad to have you back again this week. And today I want to give a special shout out to our brothers who are watching this channel. Thank you. Today I want to deal with something that has been weighing me down for a while now. And this goes out to all the married women. And I think for you, for you who's still single, this is still your episode. There's probably something you can learn out of, out, out of what we are discussing today. Um, of late, there's been an increase in the number of women who are leaving their husbands because that is their husbands have lost their jobs or they're not making as much money as these women were expecting, which frankly for me is such a disappointment. I'm so disappointed because as a woman or even a man, but this mostly it's women who, who are doing this. As a woman, your parents called you eh, like mine. They sat me down and asked me, Faith, are you sure you want to get married? Are you sure this is the person you want to marry? Are you sure? I was asked that question like enough times. And I said yes. And then we went and stood in, in front of God and I made a vow. I think the part you women keep forgetting is the vow you made. You made it before God. You are telling God, God, for richer, for poorer, I will stand by this man. That is a vow. In case some of you think those were just words coming out of your mouth. And God does not delight in a person who gives vows and does not fulfill them. In fact, he calls that person foolish. So if you're thinking about leaving your husband because he he lost his job or uh, you married him thinking he had more money than than he actually uh, uh, has and then you've just uh, dis you discovered it and now you're thinking why did i marry him as long as you stood in front of people and in front of god and made a vow to love that man to honor him and to respect him and I'll repeat this. If you did not add a clause over there and say, if only he has money, if you put that clause, feel free to leave. But if your vows were the same as mine, woman, <laughs> unpack your things. Eh? And let your heart find rest in that house, in that man that you married. Because one, you are you are breaking a vow you made to God. And you think you will succeed after you leave this man while you've broken the vow that you made to God to stay with him until death. You said death. That's the only thing you put. If uh, your vow said um, until he becomes broke, pack up and go. If your vow said uh, until he becomes sick, so now that he's sick or he had an accident and lost his leg or something. If there was a clause you added and said until he becomes sick, it's okay, pack up and go. Hmm? pack up and go but if your vow said until death and that man is still alive woman eh? and if you left please go back and beg for forgiveness because I'm telling you you will you will live and then you will watch that man prosper because God is just hmm? God is just and the day you will want to go back there will be another woman who accepted him when he was broke so women, that thing for, oh, my man doesn't make more money, so I'm leaving. You're leaving going where? God does not delight in fools. So if you made a vow, woman, make the marriage work. You go make the money. Proverbs 31, it's the woman who's making the money. So all these stories about my husband is not making money, oh, pussy, that is... That is, for me, it holds no water. Go make money. Even you, you can make some. You don't have to be given money every time. Why do you have to be eh, at you? You just sit and then the man does all the work. 
get up and do something bring some income into that home so women the next time you want to leave your husband because he lost his job yeah don't come to me because you know my position i will just tell you go back eh and pack settle in fact sasha we say eh let the roots grow into that home don't at at every time there's like a problem you've moved out woman grow up subscribe to the channel